All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I missed you guys. I didn't make any content yesterday. I do apologize about that, but it was my birthday. Thank you all who wished me a happy birthday. Really meant a lot to me, but I spent the time with my family, kind of relaxed, took a break, and I feel good. I feel good to be back. So welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video, and we're going to be talking about the Elegy for the end this broken god tier bow kind of break it down and see what we have here and uh i do hope you enjoy and i hope you like what you see in this video so with that being said let's go ahead let's jump straight into it All right, guys, so like I mentioned, we're going to be discussing the Elegy for the end. This uh, bow was confirmed to be coming in version 1.4, and it is absolutely god tier. And I just wanted to quickly state that we all know the way MiHoYo or Genshin Impact is going to be power crept is by these weapons because it's going to be very easy for them to come out with these OP weapons for these characters, not only for new characters, but for older characters like we're going to discuss here in just a second to make them once again, I don't know if relevant is the right word because every character is really good, but kind of make them top tier once more and really make them extremely good or make you want to play them more often if, you know, you kind of dropped off with them or they're no longer in your main rotation, your main team comp. It'll bring those characters back, but we'll get into that more as they come out with, you know, more OP weapons because this is going to be a thing just to let you guys know. Moving forward, these weapons are going to be even more OP and I think it started with the Staff of Homa. Everybody knows the Staff of Homa is quite broken, quite literally one of the best pole arms in the game and you can slap that pole arm on just about any character and it will instantly make them better. Same thing that's going to be for this bow and other weapons that we see moving forward. But anyways, let's talk about the Elegy for the end. So it is a bow that's going to be coming out in version 1.4. It has a subset of energy recharge, which is really nice. And for the passive, it's you can see it's a it's a bit of a paragraph. <laughs> so a part of the millennial movement that wanders amidst the winds increases elemental mastery by 60 when the for just no reason just cuz when the elemental skills or elemental bursts of the character wielding this weapon hits opponents that character gains a sigil of remembrance so it can be for either the elemental skill or the elemental burst doesn't really matter this effect can be triggered once every 0.2 seconds and can be triggered even if said character is not on the field which is absolutely incredible so you can literally Pop that character's elemental skill or elemental burst and then switch into a different character and still be able to get that effect that triggers and they don't even have to be on the field for it. Really, really nice. Now, when you possess four sigils of remembrance, all of them will be consumed and all nearby party members will obtain the Millennial Movement Farewell Song effect for 12 seconds. Millennial Movement Farewell Song increases elemental mastery by 100 don't know why, and increases attack by 20%. Once this effect is triggered, you will, um, you will not gain sigils of remembrance for 20 seconds. Of the many effects of the Millennial Movement, buffs of the same type will not stack. So, this bow, just in a nutshell, pretty much does everything for you. So, like I mentioned, right off the bat, for no reason, you get increased Elemental Mastery by 60. Then it buffs the Elemental Mastery by 100 and increases attack by 20%. And that is just by triggering an elemental skill or an elemental burst. So basically this bow is leading to some crazy elemental reaction comps that you can do. It's buffing their attack even further so when you do those elemental reactions they're just going to be hitting off the charts. And it's pretty damn nutty in my opinion. And it has a substat of energy recharge, which means whoever you slap this bow on is going to be able to pop their elemental burst, like, just all the time, <laughs> quite frequently and all the time. Now, here is the materials that you're going to need in order to level this bow up. So, if you want to start farming this material, which I would recommend if you're going to be going for this bow, you definitely can. Now, I never recommend pulling on the weapon banner because it's a troll banner. A trap banner and it's not very friendly it can be absolutely brutal if you don't know from the staff of homeless but 
you know, if, if you are going for it, there you go. Hopefully they have a very nice consolation prize as a secondary weapon that's going to be on there. Much like they did with the Wolf Gravestone. So, here is the refinement ranks. And as you can see at refinement rank 5, you're going to get 200. Well, first off, you're going to get 120 Elemental Mastery for no reason. Then you're going to get 200 Elemental Mastery with the other skill associated with it. And 40% attack. So, you're getting 320 Elemental Mastery. So, so nutty. It's absolutely ridiculous. You pair that with like a Sucrose. Obviously, you know, Sucrose not being able to wield a weapon, but like you put that weapon on a bow user, switch to Sucrose, and then you have like Elemental Mastery through the roof. 40% attack. And it's just... It's just insane. It's, it, it's absolutely insane. So who's going to benefit from this bow the most? Well, I think it's super, super obvious this bow was created and made for the Femboy Venti, which I'm excited about because I'm a Venti main. And uh, he is coming in version 1.4, which is really nice. But this is made for Venti specifically. And the reason being is because it has energy recharge, which Venti loves. If you don't know, Venti's whole shtick is his elemental burst. It's one of the best in the game, if not the best. And the reason why this bow is made for him is because you don't need a Sucrose anymore when you have Venti. They did they did a Sucrose who when they made this bow because that is the one thing that Sucrose had on Venti is being able to provide that elemental mastery. Well, now you have a bow that does that for you and now you no longer need Sucrose. It's like Sucrose condensed into a bow for Venti. It, it's stupid. Makes no sense, but it is what it is. And so what? why it's made so well for him also, just outside of the energy recharge and the elemental mastery, is the effect of that bow. So for every 0.2 seconds, it can be triggered, uh, that sigil of remembrance, with the elemental skill, el elemental burst. Well, you can get all four sigils within his elemental burst because it lasts for 8 seconds. So... What that means is you can go ahead and pop Venti's Elemental Burst. If you really wanted to, you can actually pop his Elemental Skill and then his Elemental Burst. And that will just ensure you get all four Sigil of Remembrance. But his Elemental Burst will do that alone. And then you switch into whatever character you want to. And you could just start popping your Elemental Reactions off. Or allow that character that you switch into to have that increased attack and that increased Elemental Mastery. It's just absolutely ridiculous for Venti. And obviously, this is his bow, 100%. Now, can other bow characters use this? Of course, they definitely can. But this was tailor-made. This is supposed to be Venti's bow specifically, like the Safahoma is Hu Tao's bow specifically. Like, they made that for her aesthetic-wise and everything passive-wise. It's all meant for her, but you can put the Safahoma on other characters. This bow is very similar. It's made for Venti. It's supposed to be for Venti. But you can put it on other characters like Ganyu if you want. Or, you know, Amber. Whoever you want to, to be quite honest. But it is best on Venti. And he's going to be able to utilize it to perfection. Not only that, but also when you do the Elemental Burst. If the Storm Eye comes in contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro. It will deal additional damage of that type. And with the Elemental Absorption. So... It's just, it's just bonkers. It's nutty. It's ridiculous. It's bananas. So, yeah. This, this bow is going to be incredible. This bow is going to be a very, very top tier weapon. Uh, one of the best, if not the best, that you're going to be able to obtain in the game. It's going to be top tier. Absolutely. If you're able to hear that, that was a chef's kiss. Incredible. But, <laughs> once again... It's going to be in the weapon banner. Weapon banners are very brutal. Just be very weary on pulling on those banners. But this is the way that MiHoYo or Genshin Impact is going to be power crap. Not necessarily through characters, but through the weapons. And the weapons are going to allow other characters to be more predominant or more relevant. Or just be able to be used more often or more frequently. As well as this weapon can be placed on other characters and things of that nature. But anyways guys, I would love to know what you guys think of everything down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about everything that we discussed today in regards to this weapon. And I would love to know if you guys are going to be pulling for this weapon or not. I want to know all of that down in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to be pulling for Venti. I did a poll on the community tab of my channel. Go check that out. You can go ahead and vote right there and let me know what you guys are doing. Comment down below there as well. 
But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like what you see. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.